Hi. 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 Uh, Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition, thank you so much for speaking to me. You know, what's really interesting about The Nun 2, the whole Conjuring universe, is you could say the world's fascination with religion, mirroring it with horror. Why do you think that that is? First of all, because it, it's real. And defining mm -hmm. it through this movie is very important. But not only defining this, but accepting it. A lot of people don't accept it. And sometimes this type of movies will help us to understand, you know, and know what to do when you're confronted. This is an, this is nothing new. The world of demons and the world of, uh, of the evil experience is part of this world and always existed. You got to go to the scriptures of the Bible and you're going to find out, you know, that um, the story and how it all started. And, and also gives us the, 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 the secrets on how to deal with it. So this entertainment movie does a very good job in providing this bridge between entertainment, spirituality, culture, and uh, the world of demon demonology. Right. Faith is a huge theme, obviously, in The Nun, too. Um, what's interesting is always seems to be a battle of faith, and not just, you know, on the outside, but on the inside of, as well, whether or not you do believe. So can you talk about the importance of that? And also, there are many religious themes in this movie. Was there one specific that really spoke to you? Well, I really like the fact that this was done from a true story, and uh, <laughs> the monasteries and the places that they use, uh, there were some of the places where some of the stories happened. And um, I, I like the fact that through the entire movie, they we have the Catholic Church uh, sharing <laughs> a lot of the, uh, the sacraments that people live into to the point of seeing uh, the nuns and confronting, uh, okay, this darkness with... Uh, the the story of Saint Lucy, uh, which is a very important part in the movie, and the fact that that uh, even though she was murdered by the Roman Empire and she was a martyr, she represents the eyes uh, of all of us. And there's many hospital eye hospitals that have been named after her. But uh, uh, this presents us a spiritual vision in a battle between the darkness and the light. And through the whole movie, if you're very careful, you are introduced to means, means of how to deal with this to the point that you have sacraments, you have confession, and you also have prayer and what to say during those prayers. I don't wanna give the movie, but it will scare you. But at the same time, it will provide with that answer that, um, I personally believe they did a great job. Right. Many people don't know the story of St. Lucy, and so this does prov uh, provide an opportunity to that. I was wondering from your standpoint, was there anything that you, you would like to add about St. Lucy's story? Because, you know, this is only confined to a, a certain amount of hours. Is there more that you would think for the average person who watches this should really dig into? Well, I think that uh, uh, Lucy, you can make a movie about her, really, because uh, the battle that she had in a time where, you know, uh, people did not believe in her and they really uh, forced her to do evil things and how powerful God was through her life that kept her. And eventually uh, she became such an important person at that time that she got murdered. And uh, uh, so... There is always this battle between dark and, you know, and light. And mm -hmm. um, uh, the story of St. Lucy, I, I loved it. You know, it could have been explained a little more, but what can you do? You only have so much time. So I enjoyed it. And also what's very fascinating that I've seen through other paintings and, and doing my own like look of what, who is St. Lucy? It's, you know, the importance of the eyes and the eyes and the plate. And so I was wondering, why do you think there was such a significance of seeing with the eyes on the plate? Well, because uh, it, it expresses the, the response to the importance of the eyes, the importance of having vision, spiritual mm -hmm. vision through all of it, and how she represents, you know, that uh, the, the, the eyes and the power of the light that comes through our eyes. And in the movie, that is, that is portrayed. 
and 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 I I think it was a very good representation uh, uh, of this symbolism of Lucy's eyes, and uh, and the movie gives the broader thing uh, a, a greater context of that powerful life of Saint Lucy. Right. Um, also, how do you feel about the authenticity of kind of the Catholic and the Christian themes? There is a lot of overlapping at times. Yeah, I think that we have a lot more in common and we can agree more in the majors and in the minors. But I believe on this, we are in it together. We understand that this world of uh, evil exists and that God has special people within the church to help us to deal with that. So I think that both groups do agree. I would say that there are two things that we base our theology in the fact is that God's given us all authority. Mm -hmm. If we are Christians to pray over demon people, over people who are possessed by demons and be free, and also people who have this ministry in particular in dealing with legions of demons that say that through prayer and fasting, they are those ones who can really uh, go after legions. And for sure, this movie pertains uh, a, a personality that uh, the nun was uh, possessed by Balak, which represents, you know, you know, uh, legions of demons. Right, and kind of speaking of the nun itself, the character, um, how do you feel that that was portrayed in an authentic, uh, authentic scene? Sorry. Well, I think that. And the world of entertainment uh, mm -hmm. has to find a way, you know, and um, that exists, it exists. This could happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I think that um, the world of entertainment was fair and, and pertaining, you know, showing the darkness side and also the, the light. So, you know, this is what you get when you... Uh, combine entertainment, spirituality, and culture. You know, uh, we are supposed to transform culture, not go against culture or be so controlled by culture. I am the person who believes that you can use entertainment, you can use culture, spirituality to bring, to bring transformation on people's lives. Right. And so I was wondering with that as well, you know, with these characters, they all are going through a very tough and difficult time. The importance of holding on to your faith and your religion, however small it may be or how large it is, can you touch upon finding that light within that darkness when it seems hopeless? Thank God that God says that if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can do mm -hmm. great things. And don't ever undermine faith because between that faith, there's somebody greater behind you to protect you. Now, uh, find out as you are in, moving into this world, that the devil could become, the Bible says he's the father of all lies. Now, we need to know as Christians that we have a covering and we have an answer. Our faith will hold us together with the church that we belong to and finding the answers on how to deal with this world. This world is real. It's not just a world of mentally ill people, this is a world where demons play games on people's lives. And we have the answer. Faith has the answer. Thank you so much for speaking to me, Reverend. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.